So what does your old man do for a crust? Hmm? Oh, I'm 28. No, your old man. Oh, <laughs> I'm not that old. G'day guys, my name's Walter and welcome to Cozy TV. Most Australians would agree that there are two styles of accents in Australia. One is what we'd probably just call, let's say, city style accent. And two would be sort of the country style accent or maybe tradie style accent. Tradies is an Australian word for tradesmen. Tradesmen are your plumbers, electricians, carpenters, mechanics, boiler makers. So these people sort of, uh, you know, build a lot of things with their hands as well as, you know, fix things within your house. So today I'm here to teach you the tradie country style uh, accent um, and translate it to sort of something more understandable for you as a learner. Now it must be said that not all Australians speak like this, not all people who live in the country speak like this, and some people in the city might speak like this. So, you know, it just depends on the person. So let's get started. So what does your old man do for a crust? Okay, so let's break this down. What does your old man do for a crust? So first, let's look at the word old man. An old man is just another way of saying father. And in some cases, some people call their mother like an old girl. Now, for a crust is a way of saying for a job or for uh, money or for a living. So one more time. So what does your old man do for a crust? So this translates to what does your father do for a job? Let's check out the next phrase. Me missus and I are going bush for the weekend. Me and my missus are going bush for the weekend. So let's have a look at the word missus. Missus is another word for girlfriend or wife. And to go bush is another way of saying countryside. So one more time. Me missus and I are going bush for the weekend. So to translate, this means my girlfriend and I are going to the countryside this weekend. Okay, let's look at the next sentence. Hey, you keen for a few coldies and watch the footy of the Savo? Keen for a few coldies and watch the footy of the Savo? So let's break it down. When you're keen for something, this is another way of saying, do you want to do this? Coldies. Now I talked about this in my previous video, but coldies is another way of saying Beer. Footy. Now this simply is translated to football. Now in Australia there are three very popular uh, football codes. That's AFL, NRL and Rugby Union. Soccer is also a form of football, but most Australians would probably just call soccer, soccer rather than football. We would probably mainly use the word footy for those three codes. So depending on which friend you have, will depend on which football they're talking about or which footy they are talking about. Savo. Now you've probably heard this one before. Basically that means this Arvo. So one more time. Are you keen for a few coldies and watch the footy of the Savo? So this translates to, do you want to have a few beers and watch football this afternoon? Okay guys, so that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. So remember guys to leave a like and subscribe and like always, stay positive. Mm -hmm.